and we're back with more Mario Galaxy 2. What's up, people? It's Adam from AZ Gaming. Uh, last time, we got through Yoshi Star Galaxy. We uh, unlocked our little friend Yoshi here. We got the two stars there. And we unlocked another level from a gluttonous little bastard that was over here, but now he's gone because he transformed into a galaxy. Because when stars overeat, they become planets. Remember that. That's, that's star biology, kids. Anyway, today we're actually not going to start off with that new galaxy. I want to save that for the end of the video. And yes, we are doing more than one world in one video for the first time, guys. And we're probably going to keep doing that now because I kind of want to get through this game at a quicker pace because I've only done one world per video at this point. And I'm sure you guys are like thinking, yo, Adam, come on, speed it up. We, we got things to do. We don't want to see me playing Mario Galaxy 2 for three months. I don't want to be playing this game for three months either. I have things planned for this channel and I do not want to be stuck on Mario Galaxy 2. As much as I love this game, I want to get on the other stuff for you guys. So I'm going to try to up the pace of these videos and try and do more than one world per video. So I say we start with Spin Dig Galaxy. So we got Dig a Legs Planet. Dig a Leg. Let me just say, Dig a Leg's probably one of the most badass names. I know. I noticed some of you guys. It might sound corny. I don't know. I'm just. I'm just a sucker for names like that. I don't know. Then again, I'm the guy with the nickname A to Z. I'm the one who came up with that on the spot like a year ago. I think at this point, I've had nicknames before A to Z, and I'm not gonna go into what my nickname was before because, well, it's high school. Let's just leave it at high school. Anyway, uh, we got these enemies. Don't remember their names. Probably posted on screen or something. But, uh, we see over here, we got a brand new item to Mario Galaxy 2. The Spin Drill. You shake the Wiimote and you start drilling. Like so. So you pretty much go to the exact opposite side of the plane when you dig. And it's, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's a nice little gimmick that they got in there. And I think this level uses it pretty well. I mean, they, they do kind of force it on you, which, to be fair, any new mechanic in a video game, they do kind of want to force it on you because it's like, oh, check out this new thing that we have. Mario can now grab a drill and spin the crap out of it. He can dig through planets. Just dig right through their core, which you'll find once we go into the interior of some planets, there's no actual core in there. So it's kind of scientifically inaccurate, but trying to make scientific sense out of Mario games, not the wisest thing in the world. Oh, by the way, I should have mentioned, uh, you can't take your spin drills into launch stars. You cannot. You will lose them, and then you'll just have to find them on another planet. Lucky for us, there's one right here. Now, I think first thing we want to do is actually go down here and then go up through this one because, yep, there we go. Jump down here, get the Comet Medal. Hang on, I didn't actually want to do that. Sorry, I was just <laughs> trying to be fancy because where we actually want to go is right over here. Now, while I'm going through this because, you know, this might seem a little bit long and arduous, I kind of want to continue on for my last point that I was bringing up in the last video. When uh, we were fighting King Lackey, who shall still go nameless at this point. <laughs> I'm really gonna keep drilling on his head while like, no, no, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Anyway, but yeah, my point where, uh, thinking about doing side videos. Where did I come from? I came from the ground. <laughs> but yeah, side videos. So like I said, I'm a fan of Smash. Uh, I'm also a fan of a bunch of other games like Mario Maker, Mario Party. Those are all like really fun little like side games to play. So it's kind of up to you. Like I want to hear your feedback on how you feel about me doing side videos. Like how and when you feel about me doing side videos. Like should I just straight up focus on Mario Galaxy 2 for the time being with like minimal interruption? Or would you guys want me to post like things in between? Like would you want me to do a Smash set like once every week? Would you want me to do like... Uh, would you guys want to send me Mario Maker levels so I can play them, you know? Just, you know, so you can get your levels out there. And would you guys want to see me play, uh, classic Mario Party boards? It would be classic. It's only Mario Party 2 I have access to, by the way. Which, some people will argue that that's the best one. Some will say 3. I don't have access to 3. And I have no way to set up an N64. I still have my childhood N64, by the way. I don't know where it is at the moment, but I still have it. I, I can tell you for I can tell you guys for a fact, I still have it. Like, I took it with me to college. I still have it. Anyway, uh, where is he? There he is. He's taking a sweet time, this Luma. But yeah, you guys let me know in the comments, like, what you would want me to do. 
like how you would feel about when and how I do side series and which side series you would want to see most. Because depending on your opinion, that will probably influence my upload schedule from here on out. Because for the time... <sighs> when you get hit, you lose your spin draw. But like I was saying, for the time being... Oh, and if you go in here, there's a bunch of planets. <laughs> Coins! There's a bunch of coins in this planet. I almost said there's a bunch of planets in this coin. I talk English well, haven't you figured it out? It's clearly my first language. But, as I was saying, you know, depending on what you guys want, you know, I'll, I'll take your comments as feedback, and that'll pretty much influence, you know... Oh! Hey, it's Captain Toad! It's you, Mario, right? Like our new ship, right? The Star Shroom. Oh yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. I found this nifty headlamp, so I am now the Toad Brigade Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? I found this lamp. I'm the captain. <laughs> if that's how that worked in real life, like, people would be trying to grab hats off each other's heads like, Oh, this hat has the most badges on it. Clearly, I'm the lieutenant. Wait, no, lieutenant's below captain. Clearly, I don't know my army rankings. <laughs> There's a pretty scary monster just past here. Be careful. Well, he's half right. It's pretty scary. But, I don't think it's a monster. Anyway, let's talk to this guy, introducing the Luma Lee Luma Bop. Welcome to the Luma Shop. I can sell you something for only 30 star bits. Uh, he sells 1-ups and he sells life shrooms. I don't need any of these, so I'm going to ignore him. Sorry. If you click buy, you're kind of stuck into picking one of the two, so you kind of have no choice. Anyway. Oh, hang on. Hang on. <sighs> Running around small planoids like this, like, it kind of screws up your control stick, so if you're trying to go up, you end up going down. Like, that happens sometimes. Anyway, so like I said, he's half wrong because this is not- this is no monster. This is a robot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the infamous Diggaleg. Like I said, a badass name. So when he starts off, he's just going to be dropping off those things. And what you want to do is you just want to spin the thing, hit him in his underside where the star is. That's his weak point. You hit him anywhere else, he's not going to do anything. Oh, yep, now he's going to be spinning these guys out. And then for his next attack, he's going to be hopping around like a frog. Which, I don't know what Diggleck's supposed to be based off of. I really don't know. It's it just, it's like one of, it's, it's, it's a weird looking thing. There we go, perfect timing. Alright, now, just a word of advice. You're going to want to practice doing this boss without getting hit. Not gonna say why, but just for your best interest, you're gonna wanna try not to get hit when you're doing this boss. Alright, so here, and he's gonna drill his two little buddies again, and this one's gonna go that way, and that one's gonna go that way, and gotcha! Too easy. The thing with the boss of Mario Odyssey 2, they're actually relatively easy, but again, like I said, I'll go on my boss spiel a little bit later, because we're, we're getting the some bosses later on that are just like, come on guys, I'm not five. And we got the star. So with two more galaxies unlocked... Oh hey, one of my little guys is back! You know what, every time, I always forget the voice I do for Lubba! God, what, what was his voice again? Oh, yeah. oh, one of my little guys is back! I was wondering what happened to the little fella after they, fall, after they fell off. He built a ship to get back, huh? That's my crew for ya! Uh, those guys are all your friends, right? I, use the, I would use the term friend loosely, they're more or less just... cronies. Actually, no, I shouldn't say that about Luigi. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I know we have Luigi fans out there. I'm sorry. I like Luigi. As if, even though that one comment might might have seemed like I don't. <laughs> I like Luigi, guys. I, I don't like making fun of Luigi. Anyway, you want to visit, visit that ship, you can get there with the War Pod. So we can go to the Toad Brigade Captain's ship. If we want. By teleporting on his ear. I don't know why there's a teleporter in my ear. I guess that's supposed to be, like, you know, the inside of my ear, I, of, of a human ear, I really don't know. Free one up. Let's talk to you. Why not? 
Hi Mario, we're the Tow Brigade. Our goal is to find the Power Stars and save Princess Peach. Worry not because we got it under control. This mission is child's play for the Tow Brigade. Yeah, um, you're just, just, you're better off living everything to me, to be honest. Anyway, I could do a Toad voice, but A, I don't want to hurt your ears, and B, I don't want to hurt my throat. I have huge respect, by the way, for for the person who does Toad's voice in every video game. That's just... Doesn't that hurt your throat? Just doing the Toad voice? That's gotta hurt your throat. I, like, I don't see how that doesn't hurt your throat. Like, it's, it's just so raspy and everything. Anyway. Our next mission is Silver Stars Down Deep. So this is the introduction of the Silver Star mechanic. Which, I'm actually not going to talk about until we get to the planet where the Silver Stars are on. Which shouldn't take too long, really. Uh, careful. Oh, gee, I know why. Because... We're about to be followed by these assholes. Dun, dun, dun. Go away. Oh, mm. Nope, that just takes me back. Right, well... <laughs> oh, yeah, the introduction of vines. You just, uh... Swing and swing and shake your way around. Oh, leave me alone. There we go. And then shake this. That'll do it. And then another vine there. Oop, oop, oop. Yep. All right, I'm under this bonus area. And this time we actually don't have a rainbow star helping us out, so we gotta do this legit. Which these things aren't that hard to kill. You just gotta jump on their sweet spot. Just a matter of aiming. If you want to stun him with a uh, star, but just, you know, hit the B button. Uh, hang on, I gotta focus. If I'm being quiet, it's because I gotta focus. Oh, no, no, let me get it, let me go! Oh, God damn it! Literally, they spawned, it's like right there, and it's like, let me get him, let me get him, but no, nope, I was too slow. <sighs> it's not like the hedgehog will be having a laugh right now. Anyway, so we got another drilling puzzle here, but what, what I think is actually pretty cool is if you drill on a sl if you drill and you hit a slant, you go in the direction. You you switch you swap directions. Which actually, I think that's pretty cool. It's like it's like using physics. No, no, nope, did it wrong. A little bit more to the right, I have to go. Let me get these here. Be careful not to shake it too much, so I don't end up going to the ground. All right, we're good. Oh, now we got amps. Oh, if you, if you guys don't like amps, there's a- Oh! There's a part coming up right about now where they're incredibly jerkish for the placement of these bastards. Yep. We gotta time this shit. Alright. Stage two. Stage three. No, 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 no! Oh, thank god. Okay. <laughs> I thought I fucked it up. Alright, we're good. I'm blazing for these levels, so I guess it's a good thing that I'm deciding to do, uh... Two worlds in one video. It's all working out pretty great. So yeah, we have now made it to the Silver Star Planet. So the gimmick is we are going to be using the spin drill to go on the interior of the planet. Let me just kill these bastards first. There's a bunch of these things, by the way. And here's our first Silver Star. Collect five of these, we get a Power Star. Uh, yeah, I said we just go ahead in there. So the rest of them are just, uh, they're within the, ah. no, let me tell you, there we go. So they're in the interior of the planet, and you kind of have to just either A, remember where they are from previous playthroughs, or B, just, you know, gauge it based on, you know, what you've seen. So it can be a little bit tricky your first time playing through, but it's really not that bad. All things considered, this is a pretty tame Silver Star level. It can it can be a little bit time consuming, but eh, I don't have that many grievances with it. That is not what I was trying to do. Oh, but I, hey, look at that! I found a little sequence break. I found a shortcut now to get to the other side. All right. Uh, you die. You give me that. Now we're on the other side of this. I mean, there's really not much to say with Legend Silver Stars. It's kind of just the same song and dance, to be honest. Okay. Now I think we want to go here. I think. Uh, I was wrong. Anyway, so, yeah, side videos. <laughs> let me get, let me at least talk about that instead of just saying, um, 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 like a godforsaken 
Oh. Alright, it should be here. There we go. Oh, that's all five. <laughs> well, there goes my tangent. I guess I can bring it up while we slowly fly ourselves back to the uh, to the starship. So yeah, just leave me a comment what you want to see. I know a lot of my viewers are like Smash fans. You know, my viewer base are Smash fans, so I'm pretty sure Smash sets are probably going to be the winner. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to do Mario Maker levels, to be honest. Mario Maker's, you know, it's a nice game and all. I think it's pretty fun, like, making your levels and playing them. Which, uh, speaking of which, guys, you should check out my Mario Maker levels. They're, oh, they're pretty tricky. They're pretty difficult. Well, some of them are easy, some of them are difficult, others are, ju others are just, oh dear lord. So, here we are in a hidden, uh, segment of the ship. I believe this is the engine room. What do we have here? A spin drill, huh? Is that for digging? Just don't go digging through the center of your face ship. Might get a headache! Love how your puns give me headaches. I don't know why this fool thinks he's clever. Anyway, so... Like I said, we are gonna do another world now. Because this world's relatively short. How did you get here that fast? Did you, like, follow me out from the engine I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna try and make logic out of this. Anyway, uh, new level. Oh, we can't do this. Right, so new level. Uh, the one that we unlocked at the end of the last episode. Flip Swap Galaxy. And we're gonna head here. This is a really short one, by the way. But this is going to test your jumping skills. This is going to test your jumping skills, your shaking skills, and your patience. Think before you shake. Now that tile is not lying. You want to think before you shake. And I'll show you why. As soon as we land. After they show us this nice little... Yes, okay, we get a game. Put me on the bloody planet, would you? So, here's a gimmick. Every time you shake the remote, the panel slip. So you're gonna have to do a bunch of spin jumping just to, you know, get your bearings straight. However, if you know what you're doing in this game and you know all these advanced tricks, you can long jump. This is gonna be a trend. I'm gonna tell you guys right here and now, long jumping is going to be your best friend in 3D Mario games. Like, this one in particular, but, like, like definitely this one, but really in particular Mario 64 is a great example of how long jumping is just gonna get you everywhere. Like, long jumping is one of the best tricks. Like, like, you see, like, you see how I'm just blazing through this right now. Anyway, here they get jerkish. They start placing chain chomps, and if you have the wrong color active, like I have right now, they're gonna roll and they're gonna get in your way. So you gotta be careful. Alright, so this is going relatively well. Just do that, and do that. And then, okay, we'll do that first. And then do that. Long jump over here. Alright, this is going very well right now, but like I said, long jumping is your best friend. Oh crap! No, no, we're good, we're good. Okay, I haven't died yet. I haven't died yet, I don't want to die. I want to get through this whole thing without- well, <laughs> I can't promise I'm getting through the whole LP without dying. Well, wait for this to pass. Long jump over here. Triple jump into the star. Yeah, I was a pretty good run on that level. For some reason, I'm expecting worse. I was expecting worse, especially when I hit that electricity, and I'm thinking, oh shit, I'm probably gonna have my first death. Nope. Three episodes in, still haven't died. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Only a minute and 38 seconds. We got through that really quickly. Oh, look at that, free star bits. Well, it's a crystal. I... I'm doing a great job of explaining things. You brought back a star bunny. <laughs> know, one of the, know the one thing in the galaxy cuter than one of those? What, you? Nothing, that's what. Did that get you on that one? My love of voice is slowly deteriorating into I don't even know what the hell at this point. <laughs> but he wants to tell us something. Let's see what wonderful nugget of information or not. All right, listen up, because I don't want to say this more than once. Hey! See that toad? He started collecting star bits for safekeeping. Think he's some sort of happy bank or something. Why don't you go over there and check it out for me? 
We will do that, actually, as soon as we talk to the Star Bunny like you asked us to. Let's talk to you. What do you have to say? What wonderful nugget of information that can help us out in our journey do you have for us? Shake, shake the Wii Remote when you're in mid-jump. Spinning will give you just a little more oomph. How do you think I jump so high? Try it with me. Jump and spin. Something I explained in episode one. Thanks. Thanks. And the award for most useless NPC goes to... Anyway, finish off this video here, we're gonna talk to this guy, Mr. Toad Banker. Mario, guess what? I decided to become a banker. You poor soul. <laughs> if you give me Star Bits to hold on to, I can help you share with other players using save files. Or if you're playing solo, I can still hold on your Star Bits. I'll try and get more to add to your total. Right now I have... <laughs> okay. This is from me playing the game years ago, which is why I have 9,999. That number is going to come in handy later. And like, I mean like much later. And I mean like end of the game later. So I'm not going to withdraw any or deposit. You can't deposit any. 9,999 is the max. But uh, yeah. This is from my very first playthrough. From like 2010 when this game came out. But yeah, that's what the banker's for. The banker's, you actually need him for something. And that 9,999 deposit number is actually going to come in handy for something later. But like I said, not till the very end of the game. So, until then, this guy's pretty much useless. But yeah, I think we're going to cut it here. Uh, we had a pretty good run. We got through two worlds. We got through them as much as we can. We got comet, level, comet medals in both of them. Uh, obviously no comets because those are not going to be unlocked until much later. But, yeah, we actually got more than two stars in one video. I'm happy about that. So next time, we are going to continue our trek through World 1 and get more power stars and maybe do more than one world in one video. Uh, we'll be back with more Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, ooh, wait, before I go, uh, there's one thing I want to mention real quick, and it's a bit of an ad slash uh, shout-out. So tomorrow, which is going to be today your time because I'm posting this on Sunday, I'm going to be at a Smash local in uh, Norwood, New Jersey, in Cedar Grove, at a place called Time Warp. So if you guys know that place, if you know, that, that's where it is. So it's gonna be at Time Warp, and it's a Smash local. It's hosted by X Gaming. Uh, I'll put the Twitch link here. You know, I'm gonna put their little logo somewhere on the screen, and I'll have them I'll have it linked to the Twitch. So uh, check out that stream. It's gonna be Sunday at around four or five ish. It's gonna be this, yeah this Sunday tomorrow around four or five ish. Today your time, and uh, I'm gonna be there. Uh, I can't promise I'm gonna win, because we got some pretty good players going there. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do my best at that tournament, check out the stream, and if you're in the area, if you live in northern New Jersey, like near Essex County, uh, feel free to come by. If you ever wanted to meet me, now's your chance. So, yeah, I'm gonna be there, uh, check those guys out on stream, and we will be back with more Mario Galaxy 2.